Yeah, so we're gonna let that burn. While that's burning, I'm gonna start setting up for the next fire. So to get rid of this log, I'm gonna build a fire at the base of it. I cut a large notch with the chainsaw down inside. So hopefully those flames will kind of get up and get inside this cavity. I've also poured a bunch of bar oil in that cavity. So hopefully that'll kind of soak into the wood and it'll actually take off. So that's my plan. We'll see if it works. So the wood I'm using is actually from a downed tree that uh, rottened away a couple of years ago and it's just been standing and it fell into the hayfield. So this isn't good firewood, this is just rotten crap wood that I just cut up out of the hayfield so we can actually hay and it's not going to be in our way. I figured this was a good use for it. So this will be a multi-day project. I'm not gonna just stockpile this thing once and then walk away from it tonight and come back tomorrow morning and the sun's gonna be gone. I'm gonna burn this wood, it's gonna burn itself out. I'll probably come back a couple days later and do it again. I'll probably do that a good three or four or five times before the stump is actually gone. But, you know, Something like this, invite your friends over, have some adult beverages, enjoy it. It's a good way to spend an evening. Especially after this first burn. Once I get all this kind of just shrubbery burnt up, you know, there's nothing says it wouldn't be great to just invite friends over tomorrow night. You know, have a little weenie roast and drink some adult beverages and hang out. Keep burning this stump away. But this is what happens when you let your woven wire or barbed wire fence get into your log, into your trees, is your trees will grow up into the fence, so your fence is literally in the middle of the tree. And I can't just take a chainsaw to it because it'll destroy the chainsaw blade. So this is the next best option. 